Hello and welcome back. I'm Shelf Unit and this is my continuing Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Am. Right, I have my cup of tea on this nice, horrible, cold, windy day. Wet. And we have some things to do. We went to the mayor and the pub last time. We didn't do much else around here. We initiated contact with the Skinner's friend who will transform our human flesh into horrible, yucky armor with some shadow dragon blood. Not so good. Not interested in killing shadow dragons. Yes. Be it perfectly be honest. But, uh... Let's do a little bit more exploring. Hada! Hmm? Oh, greetings to you, stranger. <sighs> Who are you? My name is Da, and I... I am of no one of importance, I suppose. At least nobody important enough that my love's father might vaguely consider allowing me to court her. Ah... Uh, no, why not? My love is Colette, and her father is a wizard of no small power, and possessed of considerable bias against me. His name is Jamian, and I understand he intends to use Colette as a bargaining tool for some wizardly endeavor of his own. Against her will, I imagine, although I've had no chance to ask her opinion. I know she wants to go with me. I know it. But her father will have none of it. He intends to go to great lengths to keep us apart. Oh, woe is me. Perhaps I could speak to him for you. It would be of no use, I am sure, and I do not wish to use violence in such an endeavor. I do not appreciate its taste, and no doubt Jimien would crush me with magic. You are kind to offer your assistance, but there is no helping me, I think. Leave me to my sorrow, please. No, not going to. Can you tell me about the murders around here? Oh, only a little. I've not been in the village for very long. It's my understanding that the wolves have become very active, yes? And all I can think about is my Colette. This is about your Colette, blah, blah, blah. I'll be on my way, then. We'll come back to that. Hello, small child. Stranger. Hello, ma'am. And who might you be? My name is Catch. I came here with me ma and pa to flee the bad people who are killing everybody. When I grow up, though, I'm going to be a mighty warrior and leave this place for good. What do you know about these bad people? Ma and pa says I'm just telling stories, but I'm not. It's true, and I really saw it. I was bringing the cows home a couple of weeks ago, but I was bringing them through the path in the woods because it's faster, even though ma doesn't like it when I goes through there. But I pass us by the ranger's cabin. Morella's always been real nice to me. She gives me candies that she says she makes out of tree sap. She took me fishing once, too. When I passed by it, though, I saw this big black shadow coming out of her cabin, and it was leaving a big trail of red stuff, which looked like blood. It was so big and scary. It looked like a wolf monster. I was so scared for Morella, so I went and told my ma and pa, but they didn't believe me and told me to stop telling stories. But it really is true, ma'am, honest. If you went to the cabin, I bet you'd find something. It's just to the west of the village, out of the valley. Nobody wants to go out there now because they're all scared. But I know I saw something, man. Fair enough. Hello, and Margie. who might you be? Oh, hello, my lady. It's a bad time you picked to visit our village, our fair village. Who are you? Hi, my name is Margie, short for Margaret. My husband is Dale, one of the herders. We fled from the outskirts of the village because of the wolves. Wolves? The wolves have picked this year to start in on us people, mauling and stealing corpses. It, is, it has been just ghastly. They've been around for several years, but they've never been this bad. Everyone gets so upset and frightened, and they start thinking things are happening that aren't. Some people are blaming the ogre and his band, but they haven't done anything to harm us. After all, how could an ogre steal into the village and steal a body? No, no. And tales of Umar are just fanciful. Even my daughter Katya hears these things and comes up with wild stories. The wolves around here have always been a danger. They're large and they're smart. And they was just, they're just a danger once again. That's all there is to it. People should know better. <sighs> Tea. You, Dale the herder, and Gruz the herder. That's how chat's Dale. To you. Oh, is there something that you want? What can you tell me about these killings? Well, it's them ogres, fair enough. You get monsters in the area, you get killings in the area. Your wife thinks it's the wolves, but that's just foolish talk. Wolves have got after the cows, right? And we've had more and more killing of the cows than we've had since the wolves showed up a couple of years back. 
People get hysterical, they does. Gru's there babbles on about that witch. Me daughter Katya is no better with her stories. You should hear her. <laughs> it's the ogres and they'll come and finish us off once they've picked us clean enough. Cleaned to small enough numbers. We should be fleeing as soon as we can, true enough. Just watch yourself around here. Them ogres will be the death of us all, they will. And Gru's? Good business to you. Uh, hello, don't meet a lot of strangers around here, especially it's so late. Who are you? Name's Gruz. Came into the village with some of the other herders just after some of us started being slaughtered. Or just plain disappeared. Herders, farmers, anyone in the outlying lands. The mayor sent some people out to find what's happening. But I know what's going on. It's Umar. The witch has come back. There ain't no one who goes into the hills going to come back now. Umar? She's a powerful old witch. Ruled those hills over 500 years ago. Disappeared. No one knows to wear her, but she's come back, and that's for sure. People around here, they don't believe me, I know. But they don't go deep into the hills where I'd go late at night. Years things not of this world, and it makes you believe anything's possible. If you don't believe me, go and ask for old Vincenzo at the inn. He knows more about Umar than anybody. Or oh, not. Well, it's been lousy lately. Hello, Jeb. Hmm, fine thing, us all fleeing into the village from our farms. We're all the good it'll do us. Don't know how you fools can wander around and all your metal get up in this heat. The price of advent being an adventure, my good man. Adventures, are you? Huh, I'll give you an adventure you won't soon forget for a few golders, mind you. Golders, is it? Look, ten gold pieces be enough for you. Ten golders? Nay, metalhead, this one's worth at least fair thirty. Thirty, is it? This is a bit... You think I was buying iron? Twenty gold pieces satisfy your penny last old man? <laughs> sure, yeah. You see these folks in old town with all the chickens? It's Farmer Hendrick and his wife. Fled here from the lands, just like I have. His daughter was a tom fool, tin head, adventuring type, just like you. Died young this past season. You still with me? Good. I went after her, beat myself. Not long after she died, a bunch of the other tin heads came looking for her. She said she had something of theirs. Hey, old Hendrick just took him outside, pointed to a grave marker, and told him to get the hell off his land because they had something of his too. So that night I heard a ruckus in the hen house. Looked out of the window and there he was trying to stuff something down the gullet of one of them chickens he keeps out back. Draw your own conclusions, friend, but I think there's someone a tin head like yourself might like buried in the gizzard of one of them cluckers. <laughs> think of another reason they fled to town with their chickens and nothing else. I'll be glad to hear it. Now clear off before you're baking them there ovens, honey, you've got on you. There's a what in that chicken? I've no time for to talk to you now. We're just good folk fled from the air to farmland, stranger. We ask nothing of ye other than that ye leaves us be. What can you tell me about the murders here? I can tell you nothing. We're just writing to wants to go. None of them got to go back home. Just leave us be, my lady. and welcome. Is there something you would be needing, my lady? How much are you asking for those chickens? They are for sale. You sure? We can offer a good price for them. Uh, talk to Erlen if you're to discuss the chickens, my lady. I'll be having nothing to do with it. Let's quick save and go pickpocketing. Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. Something to keep in mind. Certainly. Only 30 gold pieces. Who are these fools? Wow, adventurer. Oh man, my name is Derba. And many friends here want to be adventurers like you, real strong and powerful like. Yeah, I want to be a ranger and protect the village. Alt, but a great warrior like Redard. I know you can, but everyone says you're all. Too young and all. Bull! That's what I says, that! Since you're already an adventurer and all, ma'am, I, I, I was hoping you might maybe maybe buy some swords for us. Some bastard swords. And some ale, did it? Don't forget the ale. Yeah, but he wants to be real, man. 
Uh, swords and ale, then, if you give you the money, man, would you buy some? No, I did deny the young. I'll get you swords and ale, if that's what you wish. Great! Gee, thanks, ma'am. You're the greatest. Here, here's the gold we saved. Get us three bastard swords, I guess, and a keg of battle royale from, from Min Min. Yay, I'm so excited. 200 gold! Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can oh. we rest now? Please. It's long past time for turnip tea. A little rest will Now, I did turn the voice volume up, so I'm hoping this is uh, audible. I will turn it up again. I feel. Without doubt. Let's talk to this guy. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Can you sell me Greetings, bastard good swords? A pearl to you. Yes, you can. That's a lot of money. Now, I'm making a bit of profit, but still, that's a lot of money. So, have you got our stuff? Yes, I've got your keg of ale and swords here. Battle rail and our bastard swords. Wow, you're the best, ma'am, thanks. Dibs on the ale. You've got 2,000 experience from that. I want to hold my sword. Let's go, woohoo! Ah, good cup of tea. So. Let's go north of the river. Monsters! Hold! You's not of human village? Why you come? What you wanting? I want to know why you're killing people of the village. We no kill humans in village. We want no trouble with yous. How do I know you're telling the truth? Always mad often fellows be chased and hated, called me an ogre. We just want to be left alone. We come here one moon ago, tries to settle for a while, yes? Soon after we come, fellows begin to vanish. One or two they go. Sometimes are killed, skin missing. Some bodies vanish too. Madoff no love killing us. Madoff worries. Numbers get smaller. We like here, but something bad is here too. Killing us, fellows. Very bad. Something's killing our people too? What do you think it is? Madoff no knows. Maybe wolves. Maybe bad magics. Nobody sees what kills fellows. Comes at night, though. Maybe it is shadows. I see. So your band is no better off than the village. Where are we going now? Wait. You not attack us. We need you bring word to human village. Humans run when Madoff goes. So me needs you to do for me. You brings word, yes? What kind of word do you need being brought to them? Madoff wants no death. Madoff wants no fight. Just want peace. You tell villagers. Maybe that Madoff and fellows will protect village. And protect from orcs in mountains, yes? Humans let us stay then. No cold nights. Maybe let us come once in a moon to trade for food and goods. Madoff make deal with village if you tell them. We want no trouble. All right, I'll tell the mayor what you've said, but I can't promise anything. Madolf, happy. Maybe fellows can live alone and eat good. Be happy here. You do good thing. Maybe humans agree. Madolf, keep dear. You tell them. Oh, Cuddly Wuddly Madolf. Let's go and tell uh, Mr. M Mr. Mayor about this then. And then I'm gonna rest. How do we get in? There we go. Without hesitation. Is there is there something you need? 
I spoke of the Ogre Madoff, and I did not believe he nor his followers are responsible for Imsvale's problem. Well, what? But, but I was sure that those monsters were the killers. What makes you so certain that they're not? Madoff has had his own people go missing, much the same as yours. He is as worried as you are. Oh, that isn't good news at all. If Ogres can be worried, what should we be? Actually, Madoff sent me with a proposition. He and his people would provide protection for the village in exchange for peaceful relations and a bit of trade. He, he has? I, I must say. That might not be such a bad idea. If this ogre can be can be trusted, that is. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, my lady. I will have to go and talk to them, I suppose. We could both benefit from this. Since, since the ogres are no longer a possibility, all I can suggest is you go to Morella's cabin. There must be some evidence of what happened to her. Twenty-seven and a half thousand XP. This will not take long. Right, let's go in here and have a bit of a rest. Because it's late at night. Ten o'clock. If it must be done. I feel we need just like I thought it would be. to have a bit of a Helping sleep. Others Never doing had good rest. things. No. List of services. And we'll take noble rest. Oh, we've got a cutscene. Stand. You rest each night uneasy. Yes, you are weary. You struggle daily. It will not end, you know, until you acknowledge what you are. You walk as a mortal, taking no advantage from your heritage or from your talents within. So many things of flesh are greater than you. Walk among them, these beasts that are less than you are. See their strength, see how easily you fall to their muscle and skill. Why do you stand for this? Why do you submit to the flesh when death is bred in your bones? Do you realize the power you might hold? When the world of flesh is beneath you, even creatures mysterious and magical will fall. Flare. They are indeed a powerful combination. Follow and receive the gift you are owed by the blood in your veins. Follow, if only to protect the weak that fell because of you. What a lovely dream. Everybody's healed. Minsk, you can have whatever this ring is back. And I think I'll take that for the time being. Speed will be done. Okay. Who is this guy up here? Book merchant. Okay, so we do get out of there. Okay, let's let's go in and have a word with this wizard first. You need something stranger. Ah, who disturbs me? I'm Sarah Evenstar. Who are you? Sarah Evenstar, huh? Well, I don't recognize your name, so long as you're not sent by that fool Dar, I'll not object to your presence. And I, since you ask, am none other than Jamaian, licensed cowl wizard for this region. So, you needn't run off and attempt to report me, girl. You're a cowl wizard? Then why don't you do something about the killings around here? I don't do anything about it because I don't want to do anything about it. I have more important things to do, and until cowl wizards tell me otherwise, I'll not involve myself. Can you tell me what you know about these killings, then? There's likely wolves or ogres or some other mundane nonsense. I've no interest in the mat no interest in the matter. 
Why don't you ask some of the yokels if you're so concerned? What is this thing you're making? Ah, glad that you asked. This, my friend, is nothing other than a golem of stone. A fine piece of magical craftsmanship, if I do say so myself. A few other mages have made the attempt, you see. This type of golem is quite powerful and dangerous, but I'm more than skilled enough to control it. Once it is complete, I shall have an excellent servant and something to keep an eye on my daughter and that foolhardy bow of hers while I'm away. The trouble is I'm missing one of the crucial ingredients, the blood of a mimic. I'd pay handsomely for some. In fact, mm -hmm, you look like the adventurous type. Care to find me some? It's a mimic, and where would I find one? A mimic is a vicious little creature, shape changer. It likes to attract and kill adventurers by looking at a treasure chest or similar objects. They generally exist in dungeons, ruins, and similar places, although where you would find one around here, I haven't a clue. That's why I'm looking for some. What kind of reward are you offering? I need to recall that I've got a magical sword around here that I won in a bet from that fool Tolgarius. No use for it. It's valuable. Find me some of the mimic's blood and it's yours. All right. I'll make the attempt. Fine. I wish I could point you in the right direction, but if you do find some, you know where to find me. Off you go then, girl. Direct me as you will. Something stranger. No, but I... No, I don't, but I tend to find some. And dialogue. It will be done. Okay. Could have probably done that uh, more efficiently. Should have talked to him about. Uh, it's annoying. Hmm. T is the best. Is there anything over here? Not overly interested. I just want to uncover stuff. Now there's a cave somewhere around these parts. During the daytime, I don't think I'll find anything horrible. Now let's just tell the ogres that we've uh, talked and that the guy should be coming. It's good to see again, Elf. You bring word to human village yet? Yes, I have. Has Minister Lloyd not arrived yet? Huh? Human Lord is it coming? No, no coming yet. But Madoff is pleased that you did what you say. Madoff thanks you. Hmm, maybe. Maybe we've been too late. What is this? A random Isle gem. Huh, fair enough. It is up here. I hear you, sir. What is up here? Nothing. Then let us go back. It was a silly place. A little bit of time to play with. Kill the bear! Great fun. <laughs> Excellent. Without doubt. Any good wildlife is dead wildlife. Cave. Hmm. Quickly and precisely. Monsters, eh? Jon Jonsson at your service. Oh, I can do that. What 
is it? Without hesitation. It's a mimic. A mimic that's about to die really quickly. They're not bad, these bruiser mate things. Speak. This will not take long. Okay, now I can quick save. Umber hulks. Is it just the one? Luckily, I think, has he got the hammer of charm protection? No, he doesn't. But that's pretty handy nonetheless. You have human influence. Yeah, I suppose he's got the uh, saving throws, which is pretty darn good. And killing those uh, number hulks has done pretty well. Good XP we're getting. XP we're getting here. If it must be done. Anything else? You sound like Goladon. It shall be done with skill Let's and care. If not, plenty. just what have you got on? Remove Earth Control and Lock Picks. Okay, let's give you the ring. There, just quickly. Find out whatever this thing is. Wow. Nice stuff. Sure, I can only take two of it at a time. Volts plus one. Of course, that's... Uh, One thing I don't have. Let's give you those arrows. Oh, we're out of those there. That's handy, I suppose. Although I am running rather low on arrows, all told. Still, we shall see. It's just an ordinary warhammer, it's a short sword. Nothing of any particular use, just a plus one short sword. Okay. Yes? Okay. It'll be done. Nothing else in there, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the mimic blood. Certainly. Make a little bit more of a move over this direction. Can't be bothered killing a deer. Nothing there. Let's 
And there's a house down here. Seven o'clock in the morning, so it's it's early. It's a big house. Let's just search and clean the house out. Bolts. Let's read Marilla's journal. You skip many of the entries and times and places far removed from your current worries. Flame Rule 7. Gotcha came to visit again, a sweet child, eager to learn my ways with wild creatures. Flame Rule 12. Dark creatures roam the forests. Several townspeople have been slain by some unknown predator. Everyone seems to have their own opinion of what is doing the killing. The strangest thing is that the bodies are disappearing in the morning. This leaves me baffled, for most signs point to a pack of wolves that have been in the area for a long time. Wolves don't steal bodies. Thirteenth. Or well, perhaps I should say wolf like creatures. At night, whilst I've been patrolling, I've often caught shadowy glimpses of these wolves running alongside me. I've tried to attract their attention, but they ignore me. I find this most strange, as if the pack is being controlled by someone else. Years ago, I spoke with the pack leaders, and they were cordial. Now they either flee from me, or I fear to say this, they stalk me. Twenty first. It's near noon and still the wood outside my cabin seems full of shadows. I've been hard pressed to hear birds and most of the larger animals have long fled. I plan to find the wolves' den this afternoon. I've drawn a map to it. All signs point to them as being the culprits. But what wolves act like these? They are wolves with the cunning of men. And there is something else whispering in my mind. It's faint now in the waking hours, but when I sleep, I dream only of this voice and the face behind it. Whether it's connected to the voices, I don't know. I suspect by the time the sun sets tonight, I'll have answers to my questions. A note from Mazzy Fenton. Wallag. We travel this day to search out the wolf lair. My own scanning of the region has confirmed Marilla's suspicions that there is a large pack of wolves acting in this area. On the map included, I've indicated where I believe the wolf den to be located. Follow us if you can, but be cautious. We can ill afford another mysterious disappearance. Until we meet again, Mazzy. On the same sheet is drawn a crude but effective map, map, which indicates the path to a forested area several hours north of the Innsvale region. Can I have a check that I did? Interesting, you can have that. And fail to copy it, because of course, why would you why wouldn't you fail? Bolt of lightning. You're now fully healed. You give this to Minsk. Put your ring back on. And that's a ring of lockpicks, of course. Was this ring of human influence? Yep. Excellent. This is looks as if a violent struggle has taken place here. Someone was killed and dragged out of the cabin. There are a few footprints in the blood. They appear to be dog or wolf prints. Oh, we got 22,000 experience points for that. Okay, so what have I got? A 
few bits and pieces here and there. Who's got the least equipment? Jahira. So she can have magical bullets. Okay. Let's get out of here. And with that, I think I shall call it a episode. We've uh, done a bit of exploring. We've uncovered most of the area in the Umar Cave. I think there's anything down here, and there might be another thing up here. But we shall see that next time. After I have explored up here, I think we are going to just head back down to, um, to Athkadla and do a few more quests there. Right now we are only level 11, which, I mean, we can do this at level 11, but I'd, I'd rather be in the teens to, to fight a, a shadow dragon, because that is what we need to, uh, to defeat for the uh, blood armor quest. And if it's a shadow dragon and there are shadows about, it seems only fair that we will be needing to fight the shadow dragon to sort out the Umar Hills quest as well. But we shall see. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. If not, do not worry about it. Thank you again. Goodbye.